Come down into a deep squat. Reach, turning, look up toward the ceiling, pressing your knees out. Switch hands. Reach up the other side. And then stand up. So as you come down, keep your chest out and your back flat. Press your knees wide. Turn, switch, turn, and stand. You've got five of those. What's next? Arm circles and swings. All right, you're gonna swing your arms across your body, switching which one goes on top. So you do 10 of each, and then we're doing arm circles. 10 one way, 10 the other way, and maybe you wanna get a little fancy. What's next? High knee calf raise. High knee to calf raise. So rise up onto the ball of your foot, pull the knee into the chest. You can do this walking across the floor. You're gonna do 15 each leg. And after that, butt kickers. You can do this in place or moving forward. You can do it walking or running. 15 each leg. What's next? Lateral lunges. All right, lateral lunges. So we're only bending the knee of the leg that we step out on. Step out, set your hips back, knee tracks in line with the foot, and step back in. These can be done statically in place like this, or walking across the floor like we do in the gym. 15 on one leg, and then we'll go the other way. So make sure you sit your hips back and keep your chest up. And inchworms? Inchworms. Inchworms, we're gonna stand with the feet under the hips, lean forward, try and keep your legs straight, walk your hands out into a plank, brace the abs, keep your body straight, and then walk Back up again, you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. We have 10 inch lifts. And after that, you should be feeling pretty warm and ready to work out. Hey quarantine, and welcome to your Memorial Day workout. So for our workout, you're going to need one heavy weight, I'm using my bucket, two weights that are the same, I'm using wine bottles, I've got a mini band, and then a piece of tubing. So for our Memorial Day workout, we're gonna take the word Memorial Day and we're going to pick an exercise that matches with each letter. So first up, our M is mountain climbers. So if you're a mountain climber, you're gonna come down to the ground into a plank position. Hands under shoulders, brace the abs, back long and flat. And we're going to either walk the knees under the chest or you can run them. We're doing 10 each leg. Try to keep the hips still. All right, what is next? Give me an E. An E. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. So we're going to bring our hands under our shoulders, our knees under our hips, and we're going to take opposite elbow to knee, a little touch and extend. Touch and extend. Arm and leg, extend parallel to the ground. A little squeeze of the abs as we come under. Great for working on your balance, core and low back strength as well. 10 and 10. Give me an M. Monster walk. A monster walk. All right, so you're gonna take your mini band for this, and if you don't have one, don't worry, you can do it without. The band is going around the ankles. And we're going to separate the feet a little bit so that we have tension on the band. And the idea is to keep the tension all the way through. We're going to start to work on our glutes here. So we're going to squat down slightly. And then we're going to walk forwards. And then we're going to walk backwards. All the while keeping tension in our band and staying low in the legs. Chest up, flat back. So we're gonna do 10 each leg, each way. So 10 each leg forward, 10 each leg walking back. All right, where are we at? Oblique crunches. An oblique crunch. So, a little bit of ab work to work on our side abdominals. So we're gonna come down to the ground, 
lay on your side, bottom arm out, palm up, 90 degrees at the hips and the knees, bring your fingertips up to your temple, and then we're going to crunch like so, bringing your elbow toward the top of your hip and squeezing here into your obliques. We're going to do 10, and then switch, and 10 on the other side. Fantastic. Let's go for a reverse lunge. A reverse lunge. All right, so time to work on the legs, some quads and some glutes. I'm gonna stand with my feet underneath my hips and step back into my lunge. You can do this unweighted, or you can grab bucket, wine bottles, whatever you have to hand in your house. So side profile here, as I step back, my front knee is over my ankle, my back knee is under my hip, front thigh dropping parallel to the floor. I'm going to do 10. I'm obviously going to do 10 on the other side, but one other thing to watch out for, knee alignment. As you drop down, your knee wants to track straight forward in line with your front foot. Make sure you can see your big toe. So we don't want this. We want this right here. Inchworm push-up. Ah, so in your warm-up, you did the inchworms. Now we're adding on to that. We're going to add in a push-up. So we get a little bit more work for the chest, shoulders, and the triceps. So on our inchworm, keeping the legs as straight as we can, we're going to hinge forward, put the hands down, walk out, do our push-up, dropping the chest to elbow height, and then walk the feet in, and of course repeat. I don't have too much space here, but your aim is to do 10 of those. Arm circles. Arm curls. Sorry, I think I wrote the wrong thing there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my piece of tubing. If you have a resistance band that has handles, fantastic for this. If you have dumbbells, great. Or just grab two things in your house. So I'm going to step onto my tubing and I'm going to, well, that's a little uh, tight there. Just one foot I think is enough. There we go. And I'm going to curl. A little bit of work for the front of the arms here, so your side profile for the biceps. So what I'm working on here is keeping my chest out, my shoulders back, and keeping my elbows underneath my shoulders as I curl. So you want to avoid doing this. Keep them right underneath. All right. Lateral jump squat. A lateral jump squat. Okay. So feet outside hips, toes slightly turned out, normal squat position, chest up, little swing of the arms, and we're going side to side. Sink the hips down, bend the knees to land, and if you don't want to jump, you can just squat side to side. We're gonna go 10 each way. Dio de los deadlift. Aha, so we're going to do deadlifts, specifically, uh, Romanian deadlift, otherwise known as the stiff legged deadlift. I'm going to use my bucket. Just grab one weight, something that you can hold on to to add a little bit of weight here for our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back. So it's all about the hinge here. A soft knee, hinge from the hip, keep your shoulders back so you have a nice flat back here. Really press out of your heels as you stand. Fantastic. What's our A? A game. Alternating front and side raise. Ah, so we're going to work the shoulders. It's time to bring in some classy red wine. Here we go. Got my bottles by my sides. I'm going to come up, my lateral raise, and then my front raise. Lateral raise and front raise each time. I'm coming just to shoulder height. No higher than that. 10 to the side, 10 to the front. And last but not least, our favorite at Exigo, when you can't think of an exercise that begins with a Y. Okay, there are a couple, but we love jumping jacks. Otherwise known as, of course, the jumping jack. 10 of these. All right, team. So three rounds, and that's going to make your Memorial Day workout. Have fun. 
Hey guys, welcome to stretching. So this is really important that we do after our workout. I know that we're all pretty bad at it. Once we've worked out, we just wanna be done. But I'm gonna show you um, quickly some of the main stretches that you can do um, and then add these in after the workout. So the first one, we're gonna stretch our backs. It's child's pose. Now notice I have put down a yoga mat. If you have one, then definitely use one. You can always put your knees on your washcloths or just move to a carpeted area of your house. So we're gonna take the knees outside of the hips, bring the feet together, and we're gonna take the hands way forward, but then sit our hips back towards our heel. Try and find a little bit of purchase on the floor and really feel that great stretch through the back. All right, and then what we're doing is taking one arm, we're gonna turn our palm up, Slide it underneath the body and just really rest your weight down to stretch around the back of the shoulder too. And of course, we will do that same stretch on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna stretch out the hip flex, a little bit of glutes, a little bit of lower back here. So we're going to take a step forward and then lean way forward. This is gonna stretch your hip flexor here. Now what you can do from here is put your hands down on the inside of your shoe. You can even gently press your knee out to get a little bit of an inner thigh stretch here. Now you can stay here, or if you want a little more, bring the back knee up off the ground and we're going to turn towards our forward knee. Look and reach up to the ceiling. You'll feel that a little bit more in the glutes. All right, next is our hurdler stretch. So we're going to focus on stretching out the glutes. So sit down on the ground and you want to bend both knees the same way, making a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here. Square your hips to the front and then we're gonna slightly turn our chest toward the direction the knee is pointing and leading with the chest and keeping the back flat. We're gonna lean down toward the ground. Obviously doing this both sides. What's next? Downward dog. Ah, downward dog. So a great stretch for the calves and the hamstrings. Set yourself up in a plank first. Hands under shoulders. All right, nice long straight body. And then lift the hips. Press your heels down toward the ground. Such a great stretch. If you need to here, a little walk here. Stretching one side and then the other. I think that takes us into our quad stretch. Correct. All right, we're gonna come on up. If you don't have good balance, find something that you can hang on to for balance. Keep your supporting knees soft. Grab your back foot. All right, we're gonna try and point the knee down toward the ground and we're going to press our hips forward. That's gonna intensify the stretch. And if you want to intensify it a little bit more, try pressing your foot into your hand. Quad stretch, feeling it right here. Obviously do the other side. And then next, the chest and the front of the shoulders. So take your hands behind your back, clasp your hands, and then lift the chest, pull your shoulders back. You should feel that stretch all the way across the body. Now I've just shown you the stretches for five to 10 seconds. You want to be doing the stretches. Remember, you have to do right and left side if applicable, but you want to be doing it anywhere from 20 seconds up to a minute or even more. Just really allow that stretch to develop. And don't forget to do it after every workout. Go for it. 